Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to simplify expressions with integers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given two expressions here we want to simplify. Our first one is 19 plus a negative 47. Now 47 is a larger number than 19, and 47 has the negative designation, so we know our final answer has to be negative. So what I'm going to do is the traditional method here, and I'm going to stack these two numbers on top of each other, and I'm going to take the larger of the two, ignoring the negative sign. So I have 47 here, and then I'm going to subtract the two, because they're opposite, right? We have addition and subtraction, or negative, positive, negative. So I'm going to subtract 19 from it. Now, whatever my result is has to be negative when it's all said and done because my larger number is a negative 47. But this is a little technique here to subtract the 2. 7 minus a 9, well, we can't do that. We withdraw from the 4. 4 turns into a 3, and a 7 would bring a 1 there. 17 minus a 9 is a much easier answer, and that gives us an 8. From there, 3 minus a 1 is a 2. Again, now we got a positive 28, but remember, it needs to be a negative. So we have a negative 28 here as our answer for part A when we simplify 19 plus a negative 47. Part B. Same thing. Negative 32 and 40. Well, 40 is the larger of the two numbers, so we write that first. And then we have a negative 32, we're finding a difference there, right? Negative 32 plus a 40, same thing, minus 32. If you want to see it this way, uh, 40 minus a 32, bring that over here, it's the same thing. So our number should be positive, because 40 is larger than the 32. Again, same process. 0 minus 2, we can't do that, we got to draw from the 4. 4 turns into a 3. We got a 10 there. 10 minus a 2 is an 8. 3 minus 3 is 0, and so we just have an 8 left over. So our second solution here of negative 32 plus 40 is an 8. I hope you learned something here on how to simplify expressions with integers. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.